A Cumberland County deputy who shot and killed a man back in January will not face any charges. Good evening. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. The case has drawn a lot of community reaction in recent months, really national mm -hmm. attention to CBS 17's Justin Moore is live for us tonight in Fayetteville with this story. And Justin, the attorney for the deputy involved says that she was not at all surprised by this decision. Now, that's right. This uh, case involves Deputy Jeffrey Hash, and his attorney says between her client's statements and the statements of the victim's father, who also witnessed the shooting, she knew it was self defense. Can you say what his reaction was to hear that? He was relieved, um, but he's concerned still for his community and he wants the community to move forward and heal. Parish Daughtry says that was the reaction to Deputy Jeffrey Hash after finding out he would not be charged for the death of 37 year old Jason Walker. And he did not believe he had another option to escape alive. The North Carolina Conference of District Attorneys decided not to charge the Cumberland County deputy. He was off duty when he shot and killed Walker on Bingham Drive on January 8th. Hash was in his F-150 with his wife and daughter. They were on that road and saw a man running across, appeared to be in distress. He stopped his vehicle to try to assist the man to see what was going on and then his vehicle was brutally attacked. That's when Deputy Hash shot Walker multiple times, including in the head and the back. The state special prosecutor says it's self-defense and it would be hard to prove it being unlawful. Walker's mom told us she's disappointed, upset, and disagrees. Is that there be justice for Jason. We were presented with the stand, the stand your grounds law. That may have very well been the case. And if that even be the case, the law needs to be amended because his death was excessive. She says she will continue to fight for justice oh, no, for her son. No, justice it. looks like for me, for this case to go and be presented before a grand jury so that they can make the decision. Now, I asked uh, Attorney Daughtry if there was anything her client could have done differently that day, and she said no. Now, what's, what's next for him and the family of Jason Walker is still to be determined. Live in Fayetteville, Justin Moore, CBS 17 News. All right, Justin, thank you. Raleigh police are investigating.